The general election and one of those races is for Secretary of State where a Democrat and Republican are going head to head. Here's Capitol correspondent Chris Rosado with more on this. Chris. Well, Lester, Gwen, Democrat Gwen Collins Greenup and Republican Nancy Landry finished practically neck and neck during the primary, both walking away with only 19% of the vote. But now that the field has shrunk from eight candidates down to two, both are hoping to run away with a victory. Gwen Collins Greenup is hoping for her in this election, it'll be third times the charm. After making it to the runoff two separate elections, she's hoping this year will be different. I'm running again because I want to strengthen Louisiana's businesses secure our elections and protect every eligible Louisiana citizen's right to vote. The attorney from Baton Rouge says the most important issue the next Secretary of State will have to deal with is updating Louisiana's outdated voting machines with a modern system that comes with a paper ballot. Lawmakers on both sides of the aisle agree the change is needed and both candidates in this race agree. So we can ensure that the votes that we cast are the votes that are counted and we can use that as um, to conduct post-election audits. It's over 30 years old and it needs to be replaced. And so that is my number one priority in a secretary of state. Both candidates also agree voters in general appear to have a little political fatigue, resulting in our dismal voter turnout. Experts say this next election in November is projected to have a turnout possibly as low as 15 percent. And according to the candidates, it may be tough to motivate voters. From talking to voters for the past five years that people are becoming polarized with the entire election system. I just don't think there was a lot of enthusiasm on either side of the aisle for going out to vote this time. As far as young voters go, both say the motivation appears to still be there around presidential races, but not so much locally or at the state level, which they say is pretty typical, but needs to change nonetheless. On paper, it may seem like the two don't differ too much when it comes to policy, but with Nancy Landry currently serving as the first assistant secretary of state under Kyle Ardwan, she argues she's the only candidate in the race with the experience to run a statewide election. And we have the 2024 presidential election right around the corner. We just can't afford to have a secretary of state who needs on the job training. And I'm the only candidate who will be ready to hit the ground running on day one. I'd, I'd say we all have consultants that want to see us win elections, but the people of Louisiana know that I have the experience, I have the background and I have the passion to not only roll up my sleeves and actually do the work, but I have the experience and the passion to lead the work. So Landry beat Collins Green up by less than a thousand votes in the primary. Early voting begins on November 3rd and election day is November 18th. Lester. All right, Chris Rosado for us tonight. Thank you.